This is work. I don't want to I play. You play. You don't play. We play. Bankside is a district in the London borough of Southwark on the southern bank of the River Thames, just over a mile from Charing Cross. <laughs> the district is almost sandwiched between Blackfriars Bridge at its west side and London Bridge to its east. This is a full-scale replica of the famous ship, the Golden Hind. It's documented as the first to circumnavigate the globe on its quest to defeat the Spanish Armada. Winchester Palace was the 12th century home to the powerful bishops of Winchester, who pretty much owned and ran Bankiside. The first clink prison in 1127 was a cellar inside an ancient structure, and as you can see, some of it still remains. ages, Bankside was an ill-reputed place to avoid. Falling just outside the city's jurisdiction meant it was free to allow unsavoury practices outlawed there. It attracted crime and disorder from an area heavily populated with stews and their Winchester geese, or in today's language, brothels and their local women. Shakespeare's Globe is part of the Bankside's cultural quarter, which welcomes thousands of visitors every day. It has a long history and has been rebuilt several times from its birthplace in Shoreditch as the first theatre. The latest incarnation of it stems from Shakespeare's Globe Trust, spearheaded by actor-director Sam Wanamaker. Apparently, the tourist attraction of the Globe was greatly overshadowed by some kind of gallery nearby The £18 million London Millennium Footbridge was the result of a bridge building competition win held by Southwark Council. It's the first River Thames bridge built in over a hundred years. When it opened in 2000, about 2000 people crammed themselves onto it at once and made it wobble. This scared everyone so engineers closed it immediately for a couple of years to stabilise the swaying movement. The skyline of Bankside is dominated by the former Bankside power station, which is now the Tate Modern. It opened on the 11th of May 2000 and holds the national collection of British art from 1900 up until now. In its first year, Tate Modern received twice the amount of visitors than the other galleries did combined. Most of the galleries are free to enjoy all year round, with temporary major exhibitions occurring regularly in addition.
most accessible tube station to the area is London Bridge. Southwark tube station is about a 10 minute walk away and you also have Blackfriars Mainline station which is now accessible from Bankside itself. The impoverished population of the neighbourhood lived in unsanitary and overcrowded conditions. Once the war eventually took its toll, it fell into a derelict state of lifelessness. In recent decades the area has been completely overhauled and its location and attractions draw significant amounts of visitors. Today it's a prominent hotspot for sightseeing, entertainment and relaxation, which helps aid its status as a business improvement district under the term Better Bankside. This striking new 10-storey extension to the Tate Modern is intrinsically artistic and was officially named as the Blavatnik Building after billionaire Sir Leonard Blavatnik funded most of its £260 million construction. It was built on top of three large circular underground oil tanks which are now live performance spaces. The Blavatnik design annoyed the neighbours so much they launched a high court privacy battle. The 10th floor balcony directly overlooks their multi-million pound flats next door and they complain of living in a goldfish bowl as tourists stare at them inside their homes and take pictures to share on social media. Mm -hmm. 